I'm from Bangladesh. It's a third world country in South Asia. As a woman in third world country, I think we don't really have that much opportunity to be in the industry. Because I had a bachelor's degree from my university, but I could barely get into anywhere because of my gender. America is a land of opportunities, and I've always dreamt of coming here. I have just graduated with a master's in electrical engineering. The thing attracted me to Florida Poly's graduate program uh, because I wanted to go for cybersecurity and I saw that they have a specific concentration in cybersecurity engineering and some of the faculties, they have done their PhD or graduate level studies in the same area. So I thought that, yeah, they already have experience in cybersecurity, so maybe I'll have better knowledge or I'll have better guidance from them. In my undergrad, I was in a bigger school and I barely get any chance to talk to the professors because they are always so busy with other students. So here, because the student size is so small, so you can actually have your personal time with professor to have a better understanding of the topic. I got the opportunity to work alongside the industry partners and I have done my teaching assistantship as well, so it gave me a much better idea of how to handle people, how to handle students and be a mentor, because my end goal is to be a faculty. I did my master's in the thesis path and uh, before starting my undergrad it was kind of a goal, to, a dream to have a PhD and to go for a doctoral program you really need to have a thesis. So my thesis was uh, based on uh, issues related to microgrid modeling and control. In my thesis I have tried to design some new controller uh, based on the idea of that what if a microgrid is under cyber attack? How do you handle those kind of attack and how do you make your grid resilient enough so that it can handle any kind of incoming cyber attack? Because of Florida Poly, every PhD program I applied to, I got into like 95% of them. 